If you're struggling to find clients online, or maybe you want to show up in a bigger way online, or maybe you just feel completely invisible online. If that's the case, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Rising Ranks Digital, and today we're going to talk about content, why you need to develop it, why you need to repurpose it, and some ideas on how you can do that. So first and foremost, creating content allows you to sell in a way that you you invite sales by giving value, by giving information, and to really start creating that connection between you and your potential clients. Now, this is really important because, you know, from this year on, and maybe it's, you know, even the past year, we've seen a lot of this, that the ad sales have been increasing. They, I mean, they've been increasing for a while, but people are now starting to ignore them more and more. And they're also starting to become more annoyed with ads in their feed, in their social feed on, you know, on Facebook, anywhere really. And they're also not okay anymore with really salesy tactics. Pushy salesy tactics are just a no-no. It makes people feel weird. And, you know, they're kind of putting their foot down and saying, no, I'm not going to work with you if you, you know, make me feel weird. So a great way to get around that is through developing content, content that people can truly take and move the needle in their business with that can really gain value from. And Of course, when you create content, you want to make sure that it can actually get found online so people can find it, which is where, you know, your SEO would come in and your repurposing would come in. If we're not going to get too much into that today in the SEO of things, but if you do need help, definitely contact me. I can definitely give you some advice and tips and hop on a call with you to discuss. So the importance of creating content that gets found is you can be found online forever. So in the social media world, when you're posting, it really only stays in your and other people's feeds for 24 to 48 hours. That's it. And if it's on Twitter, it's a lot less than that. Yeah. Just depending on the platform, but basically 48 hours is the cutoff. And so that really puts pressure on you to show up every day and to create content that, you know, can go viral or just that, you know, can even just get found. Even now the social space is a pay to play space, which again, you know, prices are increasing. So it's very hard to create content just for social media. You need to also be thinking about blog posts, white articles, things like that, repurposing your master classes. So the great thing about creating blog content with SEO and putting it online is that it can get found online forever. You guys, the footprint you create with creating long form content that can get found on Google and the search engines means that you're not just showing up in a bigger way. You're showing up for longer. So even if you wrote a blog post about three years ago, you can still pull in clients from that. And so that, I mean, that hands down is just everything it's, you know, instead of putting in your efforts every single day for only these social posts, it's like you're putting in your effort for one day and it's just lasts forever, which is really cool. And then lastly, content allows you to be omnipresent if you repurpose it properly. And you might be thinking, I have no time to show up on all these social channels, blog posts, you know, podcasts, doing videos. I just don't have time for it. Well, there's a really easy way to do this. And it's a way that, you know, makes people think that, wow, like I see her everywhere. or I see him everywhere. Oh my gosh. And you know, as marketers that the more people see you, the more they're already going to know, like, and trust you. And they're more than likely to go to your website, to reach out, to opt into your email list. So it's really important that you do take content and repurpose it for everywhere online. Now, I don't want you to freak out about this. We have a great flow for you to follow. And there's actually a video where we walk through our very own specific flow for our company. We'll tag that below. It's a YouTube video. And we'll make sure that you get your hands on that so you can see that. But the overarching theme of that is you start with the big content. And 
you know, it could be anything. There's lots of big content. It really just depends on your zone of genius, how you show up, what you like to do. So maybe you're somebody who likes to write a bunch of emails. Maybe you're somebody who likes to write blog posts, or maybe it's white papers or articles, things like that. Or you could be the type of person who just likes to go online, whether it be YouTube video, or maybe it's Facebook live and just talk and chat. Maybe you have a bunch of webinars that you've done over the past years that can all be your purpose. So whatever it is that you like to do, whatever it is that you have on hand, take that big chunk. And you are going to put it down two separate tracks. Now you can easily get a VA to do this, or you can, you know, go online and get help or, you know, hire an agency. This is what our agency does. We do all of this for you. We even create the content. If maybe, you know, you don't even like to write, but you like to do video, but you don't have time to even craft something. We can craft something for you. And so whether it is, whether you have this video, let's say, let's start with video. So you have a video. And you are going to put that down to two tracks. One is going to be, you're going to get it transcribed. You're going to get it put into a blog post format. And then from there, you are going to have VAs and helpers who can take quotes and really great nuggets from these articles. And they are going to create quotes from it. They're going to create email prompts from this. And they're also going to create a ton of social posts. Now, you guys, blog posts typically should be a thousand words. And with those thousand words, you can get so much content from there. It's really important that you utilize that. And think about all these channels that you can repurpose. Like you can use the same quote if you want for Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or you know, or you can change them up. You're still gonna have plenty of content. Now, the other track that the video is gonna go down is the video track. And you are going to get somebody to help you create little bites, you know, and, or you could do this all yourself if you have the time and you wanted to. But I'm really focused on the people who are like freaked out that they have to do all this content to get sales, to show up online, you know, to be that person that's essentially famous online. It can be really easy and take 10 minutes of your time if you just do this video. So you'll get helpers to take sound bites from these videos. Again, they create social posts with this through either audio format, or they can just take the video clips and create short videos for anywhere. It could be, again, for LinkedIn. It could be for Instagram on your feed or IGTV, or it could be cut up into reels, put on your stories. It can be turned into a TikTok. There are so many things. You just need to figure out exactly what you want to do. If you want to, if you prefer blogging or video, and then you have to determine where you want to show up in social media and you put them down those tracks and you give very specific feedback of like, Hey, we're going to show up here, here, and here, go do your thing. Now, the key though, to actually create sales from this is that you have to have a hook and you have to link back to your blog post and back to your website. So, or it could be your freebie. So your website could be anywhere from booking a call to a freebie, you know, to a tripwire, which is, you know, like a $27 thing that they can purchase. And it goes back to your blog post, which again, you know, if it's written properly, it is going to prompt people to send it for an email or, you know, direct them to your services page, whatever your end goal is, that's really up to you to decide, but making sure that your content that you create is always looping back around to your end goal. All right, you guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, comment below, like, and share. I always appreciate that so much when we can get more eyes on these videos and help entrepreneurs, business owners, creators like you create more impact in this world. It means everything to me. If you have questions, if you're looking to get help with your content, repurposing and crafting in a way that gets found online and closes sales, contact us. You can find us at risingranksdigital.com or you can check out all the links below. All right. Have a great day.